in plan tools you have a little feature called generate buildings which um, I've made in in order to uh, work on uh, site plans which I often get um, at the office where I work at. Uh, you can see uh, there's lots of information about the buildings and all this kind of stuff and traditionally what I used to do is um, select all the edges related to the buildings, um, drape them down to a face below, and then push pull um, the edges back up. And that is, after I cleaned up the edges, they all connect, connect uh, correctly because they often you have um, tiny little gaps, which prevents the faces from forming. Um, in this model, you can see all the layers are named um, by a, a code. Um, <clears throat> and this is important for um, when you use the plugin that you have to know exactly which layers these um, edges are on. So you want to investigate um, what layers they are on. And then you select the um, uh, the group or component which contains all the edges and generate buildings which you then get a um, a filter and this is this filter here is um, is um, extracts from the key uh, all the numbers for each layer you don't have to put in the uh, full name of the layer you just need to put in the part of it um, for the type of plans I get, I always get the four digit codes for, um, I always use them, and they're always the same. Um, for this, I only need a, f a handful of them, I think. Um, I might want actually this one, just because of them. Now, what it does is just gonna basically do what I did manually, just project all the edges down, and generate face of them, and pull them back up. Um, determining how far up it should get back, it you can choose between uh, between having it from the uh, lowest point or the highest point from the edges that projected it. Um, tolerance, this is um, after it projects all the edges down, it will try to close any edges where there's a tiny gap, and um, this tolerance, it all depends on the um, the plan drawings. Uh, group, this will group every face, uh, which is push pulls back up. I actually find I prefer this as when it comes to um, city blocks where buildings will be uh, right next to each other. It's easy just to uh, grab hold of a small set of groups which makes up the building. And, and clean it up separately than having everything in one big mesh. So I'm just going to click OK with this and I have actually checked all the layers here. I'm just hoping it'll be OK. And then, yes. Uh, as you can see here, now I have a nice starting point for where I can um, later on just uh, you know, quickly pull them back up. To um, actually, what I usually do is just put in a couple of guidelines here so that SketchUp will auto fold these properly. Um, and you can see, like this, you have a very easy starting point. For further uh, refinement of the building shapes, you can take uh, a large one, and it does a lot of work. And voila, it has um, a city.